<laughs> uh, I didn't think I was going to make a video this soon after my last video, but here I am. And, uh, yowzers. Um, I thought that I was going to lose like all my subscribers after my last video, but I, I think I only lost 20 in like the whole month. And I don't even know how many of those are because of my last video. So that's pretty impressive. And I'm really proud of you guys, like not proud, but I'm really appreciative of you guys for that, for sticking around and understanding. Um, I know that I, you know, moderate my comments or whatever, but the only bad ish comment I got was from one girl who I was actually quite gutted to get this comment from her because she just outright did not understand my reasoning. No matter what I said, she didn't seem to understand my reasoning behind why I did what I did. And I ended up blocking her and it was hard to do because I, I always liked her, but <clears throat> I've got no room in my life for people that just see around the truth and just keep missing the point. They miss, you know, the explanation and the reasonings and want to give me a hard time about it. And she's probably on the site now talking about me. I wouldn't know because I haven't been there. But, um, the point of this video is, uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking, like a lot of thinking. And I, I go through this a lot. I know I sit there and I go through waves of thinking and deciding what I want to do with my life, what kind of person I want to be. And then I come back and I'm like, yeah, this is me. And then I fade away again. And then I come back. Like, it's just really, really hard for me to be mentally strong. I guess I'm, I'm not a very mentally strong person, but this time, especially after my last video, I really think I've got it. I, I think I can do it this time and fingers crossed being more realistic about stuff this time it'll work so what I'm gonna do is now that I've put everything out there and the people who have stayed have stayed for whatever reason I'm done lying like even about who I am my thoughts my beliefs all that stuff I'm gonna go back to how I was before I knew any of the sites existed um, this is the plan. Now, if it doesn't work out, uh, I'm not lying. I just, you know, like I said, I have a hard time. So the, the plan is, is that I'm going to come back and be how I was before and not really care about being perfect. Nobody's perfect and trying to be perfect has gotten me nowhere but misery. I lost what I love doing the most, which is YouTube. I lost the ability to take pictures and just to you know, do anything because I was hiding everything, you know, second guessing, second thinking everything. And, you know, are they going to say this? Are they going to look at that? Am I going to be judged for this? Am I going to be judged for that? And I, I can't go through my life feeling like that anymore. I really can't because all that's happening is I'm turning into a person I really don't like and pushing away people that otherwise would be there for me because I don't believe in them enough, even though a lot of these people have been with me for so many years and I owe them more than what I've given them. So I'm taking myself back to the best of my ability. I am taking myself back. Um, you've probably noticed something sticking out the side of my face here. This was step one. And, uh, this was my birthday present. And as you guys know, I had a spider sideburn over here. And it was quite small. I went very small and very careful. You know, I was thinking in the back of my head, well, you know, I'm almost 44 years old, you know, or 42, 43, 35, however old I was when I started getting a lot of tattoos. I'm, I'm almost such and such years old. I can't be looking like this. I can't be doing this. I need to tone it down. I'm going to be made fun of for going too crazy. Thinking about what other people would think about me instead of thinking about what I want, what I'm interested in. I did to a certain degree, which is why I got all the rest of my tattoos. But as far as going like really big and bold, I always held back out of fear. And I got the spider tattoo and the spider web sideburn and it was so small, you couldn't even see it. And at first I was happy with it because I was like, oh my God, I got a tattoo on the side of my face. And I know I have these, but I mean, it was something that seemed extreme to me at the time, but it wasn't. So... As you guys know, my plan was to get it revamped 
and I got it revamped but when he drew out the design he went big and I was like fuck do I want to go big do I want to go that big what are people going to say about me they're going to come down on me they're going to say it looks really bad it looks really stupid I ruined my face etc etc and then I was like you know what how about I live my life for me I asked Josh what he thought because he's my husband he has a look at me he he loved it so much he wanted to get the same thing so he was all good on that side and I was like you know what I'm gonna go big I'm gonna do what I want to do because I want to do it so I did I'm gonna give you a quick flash because I actually have the video from the day I got it where I shaved my head and you can see you know it properly and I don't want to like ruin that whole thing but it's let me see if I can do it quickly <laughs> I know people will probably pause it and have a look, but you know, I've got my head shaved up to here and well, you can kind of see it there, but it's, that's what it is anyway. I just ruined it for myself because I suck. But what I want to do maybe is grow that little um, triangle sideburn that people do. I really like the way that looks. Um, not too sure about having the side of my head shaved though because my face is really fat, but again, trying to do stuff for me it's a hairstyle I've always admired on other people so hair can grow back my own hair is growing back really really well anywho I'm always off topic so before I found out that hate sites existed I was a big mouth I used to post and all I would post about is my thoughts and feelings on things you know I was brutally honest I, I don't think I was a bitch I think I was just honest about you know my opinions on things and they just usually differed from most people and once I found out everything I said and did was getting watched and screenshotted um, I got paranoid and then I tried to turn into this really nice politically correct person who was doing everything I should be doing and being a nicer version of myself and not voicing the opinions that I have and, and still have had and have and I want to go back to that and so this video is basically about that I'm not planning on going back to YouTube full-time as in like I'm gonna release you know a video every week or do jump cuts or like fancy schmancy anything I was thinking about maybe doing green screen once you know we get on our feet if I can get like the Chrome looking, Chrome looking. I've got the apps, but I need like the actual screen to put behind me. And once I do that, you know, that'll be fun. Just fun to mess with, but I'm not really into being like professional. I just like to sit in front of the camera and talk, you know, and whatever comes out is how it comes out. I rarely script it. I rarely write it down. And if I do, it's only because I've got lots of points I don't want to miss. Not because I'm trying to be a professional, you know, that's just not me. But, you know, I... I am not a nice person. I mean, I'm nice, but I'm not nice like like that. I don't agree with a lot of things going on in the world. I don't agree with everybody being a snowflake. I don't agree with, you know, like just everything everybody is on about as far as equality and the Black Lives Movement and, uh, you know, racism, like, I'm on board with it to a certain extent, but I also feel like it can do more harm than good because people take it too far. Instead of being happy that people are trying to raise awareness, they're nitpicking, well, you didn't do this right, you didn't do that right, well, you're not supposed to hashtag this, well, you're not supposed to write that, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, the, the video is not about that stuff, so I'm not going to get into it, but it's that kind of stuff. You know, everybody else is just being really careful about what they do and what they say. And I just, I just don't agree. And you could call me ignorant. You can call me a bitch. You can call me, you know, a cunt and a dumbass that doesn't need to be speaking my mind because I've got no right to my opinion. And that's fine. You can think whatever you want to think. But I have a right to my opinion, whether you agree with it or don't. I estimate like 1% of people might agree with me. And that's fine too, you know. This is my sounding board. This is my area to talk about stuff I want to talk about. And if something crosses my mind, no matter how ignorant I might sound, 
I'm going to go ahead and make videos about it like I used to. I'm just going to talk. So I'm letting you guys know right now, if you didn't agree with me back then, you're not going to agree with me now because deep inside I am the same person, whether I have learned to kind of um, handle myself differently, my thoughts and my feelings are still my own and they still differ from most people for whatever reason. And I'm not trying to push people away, but I'm tired of pretending and living my life under the shadow of these sites. These sites are always going to be there. And actually what changed my mind about all this was, um, I don't know if you guys know Safia. She used to do videos for Buzzfeed and then she went off and started doing stuff on her own. And she's got like almost 10 million subscribers. She's huge. And I watch her videos like whenever she releases them. Like I really, really like her videos. And she stopped making videos for like three or four months now. Just came out with one today. But she had stopped for a long time. And she wrote a statement in her blog saying that she's gotten bullied so much by people saying, you know, that she talks too slow. She over enunciates. She, her voice is annoying. She's gained weight. She's bullying her husband, you know, things like that, reading into everything she does that it's just kind of pushed her away and she's had a hard time looking past that and she second guessed herself all her videos. Are they going to say that I've gained weight? Are they going to say that the way I talk is annoying? Are they going to say that I've, you know, I'm talking over my husband and I'm being rude and I'm thinking that's what I go through. People second, you know, making me second guess everything that I do. I can't just make a video and be happy anymore because there's so much negativity out there. And then you get blasted if you moderate comments and you delete negative comments. Like, you get looked down on for that. And that doesn't make sense to me because why would any sane person want to have negativity on their page? Like, I don't want to come and look through comments and then have to see you're fat, you're old, you're ugly, go kill yourself, your parents deserve to die, your son's better off without you. You know, you're a junkie, your husband's retarded, and he looks like a caveman. I don't want to see stuff like that. So I delete it, and it is my right to delete it. And I'm going to keep deleting it because I don't want to expose myself to that. And I'm thinking if a girl who is younger than me, who works out, who has a very proper way of speaking, who has very professional videos and like 10 million subscribers, is bullied to the point where she stopped making videos for a while. I'm obviously not the only one. I knew I wasn't the only one, but other people will make you feel like you're overreacting, that nobody else gets bothered by the bullies. Like you're supposed to take it in stride and be like, if you post anything online, you're going to get made fun of and you deserve it because you're online. You don't deserve it for being online. And that should not be the way people think just because you want to share your life or you just want to post for therapeutic reasons or whatever that doesn't mean you deserve abuse or you're asking for abuse. And I think that's a bullshit excuse, a bullshit way to excuse or justify bullying. You know, everybody has a right to be online if they want to be without getting picked on just because they're different. Everybody's different. There's the, that doesn't mean you or I or anybody else deserves to get bullied. And if Sophia could get bullied like that, I'm like, well, damn you know um she came back i know it's not just me but i seeing it happen to somebody else just kind of put it in just perspective for me again and i'm like you know what this happens it happens to a lot of people not just me and i'm gonna i need to stop making it about myself i need to stop talking about it i really want to stop like even acknowledging that they exist so i've said this I don't know, like 10 times in the past, you know, I, I, I'm always trying, I'm going to try again. <laughs> don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try again. I'm going to try to come and not mention them. Even if they come and they abuse me, I find out someone close to me is on the site or has gone to the site. Um, I get threats, whatever happens that has always happened. I'm going to do my very best not to acknowledge it, not to I'm damn sure not going to approve it, delete, block, move on and pretend that that never happened and just kind of see how it goes and how my life goes from there. I want to take my life back. This has been going on since like 2009. 
I think I deserve a break and I think I deserve to have my life back. So fingers crossed for me. I'm trying. Um, ooh, sorry, I keep messing with my hair. It's just like I've cut it and I've cut it wrong. And it's like, I don't know what this is doing. This goes over here. I have my hair pushed this way to get away from my tattoo because the tattoo's still fresh. So I need to get it clear as best as possible. And it's just not cooperating. Anyway, I mean, I'm 44 years old now and it's about time I live my life on my own terms. In closing, I just wanted to say that, you know, Josh and I have been struggling, like I said on the other video, and a couple of people have reached out and, um, you know, donated some money through PayPal and those people, I never asked for handouts or asked for money and they just helped me so much helped us so much i mean we would have lost everything in the time that we were trying to get you know on our feet josh has got a new job and i've got a new job so we are trying to get back on our feet we're not just sitting around twiddling our thumbs and like moaning about it we're actually trying i've been applying he's been applying and we finally got something going on we're just trying to get like you know, the last dregs of everything together. Um, and yeah, uh, I just, I just really wanted to thank those people. The money did not go to this. I just wanted to let everybody know, believe that or not, my days of lying to cover shit up are done. It did not go to this. It went to pay phone, internet, power, water. It went towards that. Power's the thing that hasn't been touched because that's like $300 and the other stuff were smaller bills. Um, but the power, you know, from working and stuff, we were able to handle that. This came from going back to work and getting back on our feet, not from any of the donations that we had gotten, you know, or not even donations, the, the generous help that some of my amazing followers have sent through. Um, but yeah, uh, I just, I just have so many wonderful people on my page that have been there for so long and understand and have understood and I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it and I want to do better not only for me but for you guys I mean because I like I haven't really posted videos I haven't really shared much of my life what what have I done but sit there and lie because I I was trying to hide my whole life away and you still are there for me you still support me you still even helped me with my bills and I really want to do better for you, you know, especially. So this is the plan. I wonder how this is going to go. Not promising that I'm going to make a whole lot of videos because I'm not going to force topics just to have a reason to come and bitch. But I am going to try to think of stuff. Um, on my Get Ready With Me Tattoo Day video, I am wearing these contacts. So this is another video I keep talking about wanting to make. But... Um, excuse me um these contacts have actually got glitter in them and i know some people might have seen online the glitter contacts i don't know if you can see the glitter from here but um these don't have as much glitter as the other pair but the other pair are like complete glitter they're so pretty and when i get a chance to i'm going to make a contact lens video and these are like um they're like pink and gray with like glitter they're so pretty but i that's one idea that i have so i've got this one already made and i've got the contact one that i need to make and maybe i'll introduce you to our pet family um because i love our pets <laughs> they're so adorable like these cats these they make me want to cry sometimes because i love them so much and i know that sounds stupid but it's true like you ever look at them and you're like man I love my babies so much. They're like the sweetest, cutest things and they're so good and so loving and they just, I just miss being able to show them and being like, look at my kitty, you know? So I might, might do that. Not sure yet. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have to say for now. I don't want to make this too terribly long. I will see you guys. I don't know when. I'm not going to make any promises, but thanks for listening this far and um, Black Friday says it best. Be kind to each other. Um, 
Those are her words, not mine, but the thoughts the same. There's just no reason to be so negative and so hurtful and hateful. Just think about your life and fix your own damn life. I say this so many times. Stop spreading hatred and negativity. Try to be a better person. At least just try. You might not succeed, but it doesn't hurt to try. And if you have to sit around and gossip about other people and hurt them for pleasure, then you have got some major issues. Until next time, bye.